So we have a brand new, whoa, <laughs> we have a brand new super agent released from China, which this right here has just created this entire competitive analysis for me in like 20 minutes. Crazy stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all about GenSpark. It can create videos, images, deep research. It has the super agent capability of controlling your browser and or at least controlling its own browser, which is a cool thing and its own little sandbox environment for code. And it's just perfect timing because we're going to compare it today to Manus because I literally just got invited to use Manus this morning. So let's first look at GenSpark and then we'll compare it to Manus. So first let's quickly look at the release video. So they have complex travel planning and AI call for me. This is where you actually can get an AI to call a phone number on a website to like book things for you, which is crazy. So complex travel planning, you basically give it a prompt, just kind of like uh, OpenAI's operator, and then it'll go and it'll find the stuff you need, and it'll um, plan your trip, and then it'll go and book the hotel, it can book the attractions, all that stuff, which is cool, and it can come back in just a couple of minutes with um, an entire itinerary, etc., all on a website. So then here, we have after that a call for me function. So I'm going to unmute the video, and I'm going to let you hear it, but essentially now we're going to have an AI phone this website, uh, or phone this company, to book a table. Where the AI actually Hi, Jillian. I'd like to make a dinner reservation. Um, yeah. For what day? April 26th, please. Actually, one person has a shellfish allergy and another is vegetarian. And then do we have a preference on seating? Would you like a booth, window table, or enclosed patio outside? A window table would be perfect. So as you can see, you have an AI calling on your behalf, which is crazy. Um, so I feel, I feel like the next step in all of this is then that Actually, whatever that is, I don't know how to pronounce that. My first thought was Phoebe, but it's not Phoebe's. <laughs> um, is that essentially then they would have an AI agent, and then your AI agent would be talking to their AI agent. It's just crazy where the world was going in regards to that. So you have that. Another example is that it can actually generate video. So for example here, you're like, I'm an influencer on Instagram. I want to produce a reel to demonstrate how to make calamansi and pistachio crusted codfish. Fair enough. And so then it goes and it'll get images and stuff, find out how to do it. And there you go, like it generate, these are generated videos by GenSpark. And then it creates sound effects using Eleven Labs and boom, pulls it all together into making this little video that you can then like share on Instagram or something, which is crazy. So it's now can generate its own B-roll. Absolutely mental. And then the next one they show is South Park. Now, I must admit though, the South Park one is rubbish, so it's the same kind of thing with the like make a voice and make pictures and that. But there you go, look, initially their costumes are all messed up. But all with that, but I'll let you listen to it. The voices Did you guys are see mental. the news about that defense guy who texted their war plans to some reporter? I think the government wants us to think they're stupid, so our enemies underestimate us. It's called strategic incompetence. You're being outperformed by a child, a fat. Like the, the, the way they show this in the demo, I, I mean, it seems a bit daft to me. And all their mouths are moving at the same time, which is a bit crazy. But you may be like me and thinking, right, how are they able to do all this? Like, how are they able to do all this so fast, right? And essentially, the way they're able to, because then it creates graphics, etc. So, is that they have this here. So, three parts. They have the LLM, which they have a mixture of agent system. So, this is essentially, or I think it might be the same. But DeepSeek, they had this thing called Mixture of Experts. And now Mixture of Experts meant that you could have a big massive model and just little sections would kind of light up at once. So kind of like your brain, when you do a problem, when you try to solve a problem, parts of your brain light up more than others at once because then different parts are getting used. Similar to that. They also have in-house tool sets so they can make sure that that's all working properly. And they have in-house data sets as well. So they have information distilled from the internet that they, that they use. So basically here what they have is a way to interact with the internet, let me bring my fingers in, internet, um, through these like doors that they maintain essentially, um, which is, is which is cool. So um, they also on the benchmarks, they say that they beat OpenAI because um, like if you look here, we have Manus and Dark Grey, Deep Research and then uh, I don't know. I don't know what previous sort it is, but uh, we have these here, uh, and Jen Spark is in black, and apparently it wins in all the benchmarks. But just uh, be be aware so of that because benchmarks can. You know. 
Genspark super. <laughs> I don't know, it might be made up. So anyway, if we come back to Genspark, let's um, first have a look. So we have here, um, I, I, you can only run one on one or two prompts really on the free plan. So it is free, but it's only free for like, I think one a day. So like essentially one run a day. And it's because it takes like 20 minutes long. So for example, here I write run a competitor analysis and channel pro projection for my YouTube channel, turn your creation into a website and deploy it permanently. Now the reason I sent that is because that's what I had done for Manus. So on Manus I had written the same thing and then it says, what do you want? Do you want, you know, after all of this stuff is like, do you want it on a website? Turn it on a website and it done that. Now, Genspark done it a lot faster. So it done it probably in half the time. Um, it was weird because you can follow it along but it doesn't do it's thinking out loud and it doesn't do as much um, planning. So it's not like you get different types of agents and Manus appears to be like a plan execute agent. So it plans everything it's got to do and then it executes it one by one. Whereas here, it seems to be more of like a react agent where it's kind of like, right, what did I do next? What did I do next? And it just, it just thinks for itself in the moment. Um, but yeah, so it goes through here, does all the competitive analysis and then this on the right hand side is what it output, which is uh, the, the website. So let's have a quick look at it. You can see it has the code here, which uh, took quite a while for it to create. Um, be, beware, I had, uh, it was like, you know, two thirds through writing the code and then I clicked off and I actually closed the chat down so it doesn't run in the background. So just be aware of that. Um, ah, right, so it has some thinking, um, but not much. Um, and then the preview here, which is pretty cool. So open a new window. And there we go, we can actually see it here, which is cool. Um, we can export it or we can close the preview. So yeah, pretty cool. This is the website that it generates. So YouTube channel analysis for my YouTube channel. Report date this month. <coughs> channel focus, data engineering and AI. Growth potential is high. So executive summary, channel overview, strengths, growth opportunities, focus on merging data engineering, blah, blah, blah. Pretty cool. I like this here. This uh, kind of animation is pretty cool. So the number of subs with increase. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then the channel profile looks pretty cool. And then competitor analysis. I don't know where that's gone. I thought there was one in here. No, but there is one here. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what's, what's happened there. Um, and then it has like a SWOT analysis of detailed competitors, which is pretty cool. Um, me versus the competitors. Uh, competitive positioning, channel growth projection. I don't know what's happened here. I like the look of the website, but it's missing um the the actual analysis pieces but hey that's pretty cool too um it's like planning what i could try and look at um and then emerging technology assessment hey that's pretty cool and content strategy so you actually really there we go a four-week content planning template hey that's so cool yeah i think this one is actually so much better than than manis there we go there's more stuff here um Conclusions. So let's just read the conclusion. Uh, strategically positioned to capitalize on growing demand for the engine and AI. Realistically achieve 32 subs, 32 K subs by Q4. Moderate growth. Um, the engine and AI integration space is in rapidly. Growth potential revenue, blah, blah, blah. AI integration. And the way that it says to do that will be up here. So implement standardized thumbnail design. Implement first strategic collaborations. Launch YouTube membership. Hey, that's pretty cool, man. So yeah, I really actually rate this uh, analysis that it's done uh, with the website originally, but then the analysis too. So you having like these competitors, that's really pretty cool, man. Um, so to to show you and comparatively, um, Manus, so I did originally try and do a video on this, but it took 40 minutes and then the file crashed and I can't use it again because I've used up all my Manus credits. So to create this uh website here which we have one for rom manis this one took like 40 minutes and it took up about two thirds of my credits which i think also jane spot did as well so if we open this one up so we can do it, it's kind of side by side let me side by side it here oh what you can see there as well is apply di we have a, a community where i apply ai or a school a community called Apply AI, and on here you learn everything you need to learn how to apply AI from the foundations of what it is, what technologies to use, actual solutions, how to code, content creation, etc. Now all this 
is in school. We also have a community of like-minded people, entre AI entrepreneurs. So come along, get involved, uh, and then we have a weekly call as well on Tuesday. So come along, have a check out. We're at a reduced rate right now for $27 a month, seven-day free trial, because we have just changed to this new structure, um, including this Tech Foundations AI content and coding with AI portions. So come along, check it out, let me know what you think. So back to this, if we put it side by side, on the right hand side this is Manus, on the left this is Gen Spark. So the Manus one is pretty cool too, so competitive analysis, it gives me the current view, and I like how it tells me like the average views per video, baseline growth, optimizing accelerated growth, um, I suppose that tells me that as well. Uh, channel profile, there's cool analysis here, more than a profile. But then I like the competitor analysis, the visualization there, but I prefer the SWOT on this side. Um, yeah, these are cool. And then industry trends, that's pretty cool too. And then these uh, growth projection models are pretty cool too. Although I think they look nice, but they're not as informative at all as this. So in here, they don't really give you that much away. Like when actually, <laughs> when I was recording this one on the right hand side, I was like, hey, this looks amazing. You could like, because I was working out that this would cost, you get the first 1,000 credits free in Manus, and this was about 400 credits to make. I think about 600 after you use the, like, to make a website, because originally it's just documents. And I was like, oh, you could just get the documents, so it's like $4 to run it, because it's $39 a month for 3,900 tokens, I think it is, in Manus. But essentially, you could create this website for like $5 and then resell it for like 100 you know, as like a consulting service, but a cool idea. But I think honestly, GenSparks, in my opinion, looks better as long as you could try and pull over those monetization strategy analyses um, that it creates. So let's put this back into full screen. Um, but the ones that are actually output, uh, yeah, you'd be definitely onto a winner if you could pop them in there. So anyway, just out of curiosity, what's it trying to say that my uh, revenue projection could be? Oh, there's my cat at the window. Hold on. Because let's uh, essentially see how accurate this uh, is, is slash could be. So the monthly revenue, let's see, at the beginning, it's not interactive. So here that's in like $200, $200 maybe, um, which is actually less than I, than we get. But the projection is like this time next year, would be like six grand a month. That'd be all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Pretty cool, I'll, I like it. Let's have a look at the other uh, functions. So we have this super agent function. We also have image studio, video generation, deep research, and all agents. So as you can see, it's, it's trying to pull everything, everything together. So if we look at the all agents, we have the advanced agents, so the super agent, which is like doing an entire thing for me. The deep research agent, which is like more of the research inside of things. Call for me, which is the new one. That is actually really cool. So like book a table somewhere, blah, blah, blah. Data search, there's my cat back again. Sorry, me should be that. <laughs> Data search, um, that's a pretty cool one. Um, and then cross check, that's pretty cool too. Now, our basic agents here. So, if I have a look, I uh, created an image saying create a rabbit in a spacesuit next to Elon on Mars. It didn't understand that I meant Elon because there is no Elon. And really, all it's doing is using, as you see, mixture of agents. Really just means like, you know this is just a wrapper essentially but that's the thing is like this like these kind of products like wrappers sure you look at them you go i could totally use that myself but it's like your tools are in the garage are they in a toolbox yes do guys spend loads of money buying fancy things for the wall to hang their tools on some guys do some guys don't you know and that's the thing is like yes sure these are using like you know this is essentially a fancy wrapper but like the wrappers are what make the tools actually usable. So, you know, I'm not against it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's the image to do. That's not very good. I must admit, I prefer uh, OpenAI's image generator. Um, and then I tried to use video generation and stuff, but it just wasn't working. And it turns out it's because I've used all my credits. So if we look at the plans, let me see. I'm on the free plan and I've used 100% of my budget on that one analysis and then this one image. And that was me done. No more allowed. So that's 200 free credits a day. Um, so basically for GenSpark, I get to use that 
and the, and the image all in manus so it's kind of like the same amount of credits but the plus so the actual membership is so much cheaper so here it's 25 dollars a month for 10,000 credits and that gives you access to a 103 etc um whereas for manus if we look at the price in here so how do we get that hold on misha my cat's shouting at me uh, we have manus start which is 39 dollars a month 3900 credits and for reference the credits here you get less credits and you use up more so you know gen spark it's uh definitely cool it's shown and a cool way that things are going um and how to actually wrap these tools into some usable format for example the image studio one you create the image as well and then it's like oh do you want to turn this into a video uh you know that kind of stuff's cool so interesting to see where the future is going to go what do you think have you tried gen spark have you tried manus do you have an opinion on it let me know in the comments below and as i was saying if you want to learn how to apply ai from you know the ground up come on over to applied ai you can learn all about the technologies the actual solutions how to code how to generate content market etc um, run your social medias on autopilot so anyway come over have a look have a check out send me a message join me in the weekly coffee chat and until the next video take care and i'll see you later